Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received head of Togo's National Assembly, Taiwat Segan, in Cairo on Thursday. During the meeting, the president hailed distinguished bilateral ties that bend the two nations. The head of state stressed the significance of strengthening the bilateral trade exchange. For her part, the head of Togo's National Assembly hailed Egypt's economic reforms adopted under the leadership of President al-Sisi. The top official said the Egyptian leadership had contributed in achieving security and stability and open new horizons of development that uh, makes Egypt or takes Egypt to the African model of development. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received Director General of the World Health Organization Tedros Adhanom on Thursday. Adhanom conveyed to President Sisi the international appreciation to Egypt's distinguished efforts in the healthcare field, hailing the political leadership and presidential initiatives in this vital sector. The details with Linda Abdel Latif. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received the Director General of the World Health Organization Tedros Adhanom at Al Hadaya Palace where Adenham handed President Sisi the organization's verification report on the 100 million healthy lives initiative. The initiative, which was launched last year, screened more than 60 billion citizens for hepatitis C and non-communicable diseases. Following the meeting, Minister of Health Hela Zaid held a joint press conference with Adenham. For her part, Zaid praised the health initiatives that Egypt has launched in the past years adding that the 100 million healthy lives initiative is the biggest of its kind in the world in terms of the number of people who are screened. The minister also added that it is the quickest in terms of its implementation with the best quality. The minister also referred to the different initiatives that are being implemented in the country, including the comprehensive health insurance system and the women's breast cancer initiative, which aims at screening 28 million Egyptian women. Zaid also referred to the role played by the World Health Organization in supporting such initiatives and in being an independent observer of such initiatives. For his part, Adhanim praised the government's efforts to screen and eradicate hepatitis C and the non-communicable diseases. He also recommended the publication of the Egyptian experience to inspire other countries around the world. Adhanom also praised the efforts done by the government to cut the waiting time and uploaded the health insurance system in Port Said govern rate. The Director General of the World Health Organization also said that the organization will continue to support Egypt in every possible way and will use it as an example for other countries worldwide. The different health initiatives that President Abdel Fattah Sisi launched last year have inspired different African countries to do the same taking Egypt as a role model and the visit of the Director General of the World Health Organization to Egypt comes as a recognition of such achievements. Linda Abdelatif, Nile TV International. The joint press conference, Nile TV senior correspondent Tagrit Hussein, she asked Director General of the World Health Organization, the WHO, Tadris Adhanom, about cooperation between the WHO and Egypt in healthcare field in the coming stage, as well as Egypt's health initiative and how they could benefit African nations. Excellency Dr. Hala Zaid, Excellency uh, Dr. Tedros Adhanom, uh, this is Tagrid Hassim from Mile TV International, and we were really inspired by the passion that you've talked about, about the success stories in Egypt concerning the health sector and your meeting with His Excellency, uh, the President. You talked about more than one success story about eliminating hepatitis C, also uh, talked about uh, the support that has been given by the leadership uh, for uh, the support of women's health in Egypt and also uh, the uh, detection, early detection of the non-communicable diseases and more. Uh, uh, let me uh, know more about the coordination between the World Health Organization and Egypt uh, in the coming phase and how are those inspirational stories uh, of Egypt going to be also transcending barriers and reaching Africa? Because it's very important as Egypt chairs uh, the African Union 2019 and we're looking forward uh, to, to more cooperation in that respect and also for Her Excellency uh, Dr. Hala Zaid we're really happy uh, to see this sense of commitment and this sense of support and also to women's uh, issues and women's health uh, in Egypt and uh, well following up on the directives of the president sure there is more good news 
regarding supporting women's health in Egypt. Thank you. Okay. No, thank you. So the first simple act is to document and share and promote what's happening here. And that's exactly what we're doing. I think the word will be out. But in addition to that, there is a commitment from President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi as President of the African Union to start initiative for Africa. And WHO will cooperate uh, with uh, Egypt to make that happen. And there are countries who have shown uh, interest. And the other platform is I have already invited His Excellency to speak at the UN General Assembly high-level meeting for inverse cell coverage. I think that uh, platform will help uh, as inspire leaders uh, to you know, have bold initiatives. Uh, because some are worried because of the financial in implication, they don't want to, to start. Uh, but of course, they could be inspired by Egypt, which started, it's not because it has a lot of money, but it, it's because it's, it's committed to keep the health of its society and uh, facing uh, the problem uh, actually head, 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 head on. So that opportunity will help to inspire his colleagues and friends and the rest of the world. And we will continue to promote what is being done here. The big initiative which started is the insurance, which uh, is uh, almost completed in Port Said. And then we'll move into Ismailia, the Swiss Canal, Luxor, and Aswan, and what's the South Sinai. South Sinai. South Sinai. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, constitution. And that's why I say there is really grand commitment and, and, and vision. And this will also uh, be documented. And we will share, as, as we see, uh, something uh, to share from the Port Said and the next five governments uh, that will follow until Egypt is fully uh, covered. Uh, so uh, that's what uh, we're also intending to do. Thank you. بالنسبة لحملة السيدات والأخبار الجديدة والصرة بالنسبة لحملة السيدات حملة السيدات هي حملة مش مش مقتصرة على الكشف المبكر والتوعية عن سرطان الثدي ولكن برضو عن السكر والضغط والسمنة والصحة الإنجابية وهشاشة العظام وبتختص بالسيدات ابتداء من سن 18 سنة كل جروب له طريقة معينة في السكرينينج أو المسح أو التوعية الجديد فيها إنها بقت حملة دائمة هي مش بس 28 مليون سيدة اللي احنا بدأنا الحملة من واحد سبعة في أول تسعة محافظات المرحلة الأولى احنا الحملة دي هنعمل 28 مليون سيدة إن شاء الله في سنة ولكن بقت جزء مؤسسي في النظام الصحي المصري أي سيدة أو أي بنت تبدأ سنة 18 سنة بتخش في الاسكاتيول بتعمل لها البرنامج بتعمل لها الفحص وبتتوعى وبيتقال لها التشيك اب بتاعها مدى الحياة بس سيدات اللي هتعمل لهم المسح السنة دي هم هيستمتعوا بالخدمة دي مدى الحياة وبالتالي كل بنت هتخش في سنة 18 سنة هتبقى تستمتع بهذه الخدمة منين جبنا الموارد البشر المالية مثل هذه الحملات ده اللي ذكره السيد الرئيس في لقاء مع دكتور تدرس ان احنا اكتشفنا قد كده الحملات دي تكلفتها من اول المسح والعلاج هو اقل بكتير من ان احنا نسيب الناس تمرض ونبدأ نعالجها خلينا اقول احد الامثلة ان فحوصات وعلاج فيروس سي سنويا في مصر ومضاعفات فيروس سي كان بيتكلف على الدولة 480 مليون دولار الحملة كلها من أول المسح للعلاج والفحوصات اتكلفت 260 مليون دولار في سنة أو في سبع شهور وده شيء لعب اقتصادي مش بس على الدولة ولكن على الأسر اللي العائل بتاعها أو الأب أو المصاب بيفقد ساعات عمل وبيفقد دخل وبيفقد يعني كمان دخل الأسرة بيتأثر والاقتصاد القومي إن جنرال بيتأثر وإحنا عارفين أن الشعب المصري أكتر من 65% منه تحت سن 30 سنة بالتالي محتاجين أن إحنا الفترة الجاية هي فترة المبادرات الصحة العامة علشان نبقي على صحة الناس وده مش تكلفته بتبقى أقل بكتير من أن إحنا نسيب الناس تبقى مريضة 
Uh, that was the press conference held between uh, the Minister of Health, Dr. Hele Zayed, and the head of the uh, WHO, uh, Adham uh, Tawadros, and uh, Adhanom. Uh, sorry, and uh, we move on with uh, our news bulletin. President Abdel Fattah Sisi witnessed on Thursday this warning in of the new head of state affairs authority, Councillor Abu Bakr Siddi Mohammed. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi said that. Uh, President Sisi held a meeting with Councillor Sadi during which he wished him success in implementing his duties. Sisi stressed keenness on establishing a state of law built on justice and equality. Also asserted the importance of continuous efforts that aim at empowering citizens to gain rights and to guarantee freedom. Meanwhile, the president granted the state merit to Councillor Hassan Abu Khalil, the former head of state affairs authority, where he presented his sincere appreciation to his exerted efforts in applying laws and achieving national interests. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli headed uh, the cabinet's weekly meeting at the new government headquarters in the new Al Alamein city. During the meeting, the ministers discussed a number of political, economic and social files as well as the implementation of national projects. The ministers probed uh, ministerial decrees and uh, draft laws that aim at achieving economic and social stability, encouraging investment and providing basic commodities to law income brackets.